Hey everybody and welcome to another video and today I'll be showing you how to calculate the depth of the US but we're also going to compare it to the distance between the earth and the moon so we want to make the user a visual of how big the US depth is is so we're going to calculate it and if we stack them up if we stack them up we also want to compare it to the height of the moon not the height of the moon, but the distance between the Earth and the moon. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user for the U.S. debt. And then we're going to calculate. We're going to ask them another question. It's going to be, it's going to be, what is the currency that you want um, to have? Okay, so you could put $1, $100, $2,000, $10,000, doesn't matter. And then after that, we're going to do calculations. To, let's say you have one dollar bill and you have let's say the us the us debt is like quadrillions or something like that okay then we stack them up and then we compare it to the uh, to the distance between the 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 moon and the earth so let's go ahead and do that so i'm gonna open a new sublime text folder make it big for you guys and uh, remove the sidebar Here we go and let's start. So first of all, we want to ask them what is what is the U.S. debt. So first of all, it's going to be called debt. Debt is equal to int input. Oh, and I didn't put it Python. I have to put it Python. Okay. Okay. So now we we want to take an integer, right? And we want to take an input. So int input. So then what we're gonna we what we're gonna ask them is gonna be what is the national debt of the U.S. As simple as that. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. And then the other question we want to ask them is what is the currency? So currency is going to be int, another integer obviously. What is the currency you will want to use? Okay, now we have, we want to do the calculations. So, basically, what we want to do is uh, calculate how many bills we have, okay? So, what, how we do that is, I'm going to call it bills. Equal to debt divided by currency. That gives us how many bills there is. So, let's say you have 22 quadrillion dollars. And you divide it by 100, that gives you how many bills there is. Let's count. Let's, no, let's not calculate. You get the idea anyways. And then what we want to do is we want to get the length of it. Length. And then we it's, it's bills. And then the length of a bill is 0 0.0043 inches. So times 0 0.0043. So if we go into internet. And I close the tab. Great. Uh, so what... Is the, is the thickness of a US dollar bill 0 0.0043 so I wrote that down here so now it gives us the length but in inches now we want to convert it to miles so I'm gonna call this total is going to be equal to length and then oops then it's going to be inches to miles. And here it is. Divide the length value by 6360. So 63,360. We get that. Divide it by boom. And that gives us the total in miles. And now, since we want to compare it to the moon, right? We have to make a moon valuable. So I call it moon. And then the moon, we have to calculate what, what is the distance from the earth to the moon and then that is in kilometers so we're going to take that kilometers to miles converter boom two three eight eight fifty five so i'm going to take that so moon is going to be equal to total divided by Two three eight eight fifty five, and that is how many times the U.S. debt 
deep past the the distance between the earth and the moon so we did it so now what we want what we want to do is we want to print that's all we have to do so the debt and then we, we do that so basically we're, we're printing the debt and then the variable debt you don't want to put that in quotes because it is a variable if you put it in quotes it's literally going to print that so after that has a height in miles of currency currency rate because i'm going to explain everything currency like that basically we're putting an uh comma not a comma but um an apostrophe s so basically if you put one so it's going to say the debt and then like 22 quadrillion has a height in miles of ones you get it? that's why we did that and then we want to print total which is the miles total miles and then i'm gonna print that is moon we want to print the variable moon times the average distance from the earth oops cap to the moon boom and now and now i'm going to explain so we want we're printing the debt okay and we're also putting the variable debt so the the, the debt 22 quadrillion tw the debt 22 quadrillion has a height in miles of if you put 100 it's going to say in miles of 100s and then it says the total miles that is how many times greater than the moon the distance between the earth and the moon which we calculated here times the average distance be from the earth to the moon so let's save this let's save it as cs1 that's py and save it in work yeah yeah i'll replace it okay now i'm gonna pull up my terminal and uh, we're gonna go into the documents cd work Whoops, CD work. Python 3, CS1, depth, PY. What is the nation depth? I, and I put nation instead of national. National. <laughs> nation debt of the US. So I have this site here. US debt clock. Called US debt clock.org. And it tells you the na US national debt. So. Okay, and then oh, uh, terminal, and then we we have to put it in. So, what is the national debt of the U.S.? Twenty-two, twenty-two, eight hundred and thirty-four. So thirty-four zero sixteen, one fifty, one forty-two, and then this is going too fast. I'm just gonna put two random numbers make sure that's a 14 digit number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen that's a 15 number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay now it's gonna return that what is the currency you will want to use i think of 100 dollar bills the depth, and then tells you the depth you put, has a height in miles of 100s, 1,549 miles. That is 0.00, 0 0.00, 0 okay, I don't want to say that, I don't know that, times the average distance from the Earth to the Moon. Boom. So we just made a calculator, basically. It calculates um, the U.S. debt. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time.